So it is day 10. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because we are, you have not found fear within this journey. Today we're talking about fear and do it anyways. Because we all have fear about certain things, whether it is about our business, whether it's about our life, whether it's about our afterlife, our past life, whatever it is, we have had a fear before. And, you know, a, a really good example is I always had this thing about, um, like, broccoli. And, like, I did not like broccoli, did not like the texture when I first had it. So, since I was a kid, I always had a fear that I'm just not going to like it, so just don't put it on my plate. Well, today, um, just recently, I should say, I have had broccoli, and now I absolutely love it. So, that fear, if I would have just took it upon myself to do it anyways, knowing that it is just a vegetable. It's not gonna have eyeballs, googly, slimy stuff. Like, it's fine, it's just broccoli. But I had the fear that I didn't like it, so all my, in, in my head, I always put it that I didn't like it. So, and I feared that people were gonna like ask me if I wanted it. So, there's a lot of things that came with that. And, um, but you know, when I tried it, now I love it. So. Is there something that you feared, even the simplest thing, or maybe it's a big thing, maybe it's, um, you know, just like yesterday, it's getting rid of our past. I mean, a lot of us girls, or us moms, we don't want to just get rid of the past. Um, but we have to understand that if we are living in the past and we have a fear for our future, for our kids, then we are never going to be in the moment to enjoy these precious moments. Um, and you know, like I have, I think it's just part of me where you you fear how your kid is gonna like grow up. And, um, but it comes down to as long as we're here in the present moment and we're doing what we need to do, then we can get rid of the fear. We know that our kids are gonna be okay. So just do it. Don't allow the fear to take over. Um, and you know to to fear the past relationships and trying to make it happen now like there's just certain things that you just don't have to do anymore um but today we are going to be talking about fear itself and the um you know just the the excitement and what we get out of doing something that we first feared so, um, you know, even if it's like adventurous and it's like driving a, a truck or, you know, just a different vehicle or maybe jumping out of a plane or, you know, getting into college, we fear that we can't pay for it. Um, maybe making a product or making some kind of art or music and seeing if it will go somewhere. Um, I think that the biggest thing is getting over the thought of the fear. It's, and it's not even, I want to read this to you, it fell. <laughs> but it says, our aversion uh, to experiencing fear stops us from going for goals and trying new things. It is not fear itself. So it is the, the thought of the fear. It is maybe even the influence that you have got off of others and it is caused a fear. Um, so it's not necessarily us fearing something. And it's, it's something that we have to really dig deep in ourselves to know that if it is really a fear or if, if you're gonna gain something from it. Um, a lot of the times, the little fears that I have, um, is all in my head. It really is all in my head. And we have to find the silence and we have to find the acceptance and the, the knowing our inner self to know that this fear is either it's an actual fear, like a danger, or it is a fear of only your mind. The, if you get over that thought, you have a gateway that opens to so many opportunities. Um, even like the first time I ever made a video, I kind of didn't know what I was doing. I had the fear of not being accepted or looking silly or thinking that people think that I'm fake. 
or um, maybe I was gonna mess up or whatever it was like I had so many mixed emotions but once I did it I felt so good like I accomplished something I I overcame a fear um, just like singing singing and making a video is not the easiest um, especially when you are not as outspoken with your voice as um, as other are as others are and um, you know I think that another thing that we fear and why we have fear is the expectations we try to meet um, to to feel like the extra crowd that is is being praised or has a lot of um, viewers and that have worked their way up or maybe had the right crowd once they started um, but you know I think that for ourselves when we overcome fear, we are we are becoming more free spirited and we open the doors to not be fearful of other things that are in that category. Um, and I think the biggest thing is to to really when when we want to do something, we have the urge to do something or we get asked to do something and we know we have the ability or the talent or even the 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 key to the gateway to get through and and possibly find something out of it we stop ourselves in our tracks and we feel the fear we feel all the excuses of why we shouldn't do it and um you know it's it's not always bad most of the time we're gonna gain a lot from it so i wanted to read this to you um fear is a bundle of sensations and feelings in our body we have fear we want to stop when we have fear. We want to stop, but reinterpret the discomfort of fear as a sure sign of growth and liberate yourself, um, liberate yourself by moving forward anyways. Just do it. Like, just do it, okay? Um, you know, it's just like how me and my husband, when we first got together, we're like, we want an animal, but we don't want a dog so what are we gonna get and we got a chameleon we didn't know how to to raise the thing we didn't know what to do and it was the fact that we went out of our comfort zone got something that was beyond cool to us like i didn't know how to react to that um but i kind of had like that fear of like what are we is, is it gonna die you know but we took that adventure and we enjoyed every moment of it so just like now me having a business like me doing this i fear that some of you guys are just gonna blow me off or um think that i'm just trying to make a dollar from you but i'm actually wanting to reach out and show you you guys all the opportunities and all the benefits that come from my oil um it is not because i'm making money it's about me changing lives like i have become more comfortable throughout this journey and i want you guys to find the same um overcoming fears that are out there to show you that there is opportunities behind those fears that is only the snake in the grass you know you can dodge it and keep running and you're gonna get where you want to go it's just all in your head so please take the time today to find at least one little fear and um you know overcome it overcome it be adventurous Try something new and don't be afraid of what people think. Be unique. We need to be different. That's how we all grow from each other. So enjoy this beautiful day and I will talk to you again tomorrow in Minata for day 11. Step 11. Let's go. We got two more to go. Bye everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day and please post below if you enjoy and you can tag and share. I love meeting new people and helping you guys find your inner self and a better lifestyle. So talk to you guys later. Peace.